the probability of something happening is how likely it is to happen. We can write probability as a fraction or a decimal or a percentage. And there's a probability scale, so it can go from zero up to one. If there's zero, if the probability of something is zero, it will absolutely not happen. There's no chance of it happening. And if the probability is one, it's definitely going to happen. It's certain to happen. Here's a question. A fair four-sided spinner is spun. So it says it's fair, which means there's an equal chance of it landing on each side. Mark on the probability scale the probability that the spinner lands on B. So there's four sides. Two of them have got a B on them. So two out of four, or two quarters, of the sides have got a B on them, which is one half if we simplify the fraction. So we can say the probability of the spinner landing on B is one half. So let's mark that on the scale at one half. And that's our answer. There's a question for you to try here. Give this one a go. Again, there's a four sided spinner. And the question says, mark on the probability scale, the probability that the spinner lands on one. There is one one out of four options. So the probability is one quarter, one in four. So where is one quarter on the scale? That's halfway between zero and 0 0.5, which is 0 0.25 as a decimal but halfway in between 0 and 0 0.5 is 1 quarter. Here's a different question. In a box there are 5 red pens, 4 blue pens and 2 black pens. One pen is chosen at random from the box. Write down the probability that it's red, question 1. So there are 5 red out of... 5 plus 4 plus 2, which is 11 in total. So 5 red out of 11 in total. So it's 5 elevenths. That is the probability that the pen chosen at random is red. Write down the probability that it's not black. So how many are not black? So 5 red and 4 blue are not black. So 9 are not black out of 11 in total, so that's 9 elevenths. And question 3, write down the probability that the pen is green. How many green pens are there? There are no green pens, so the probability is 0. There's no chance of getting a green pen. And one for you to try, so give this one a go. Here are some number cards. One card is chosen at random. Write down the probability that the card has a 5 on it. So there are two cards with a 5 on. Out of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 cards in total. So the probability of getting a 5 is 2 sevenths. Write down the probability that the card has an even number on it. How many even numbers are there? So one, two twos and a four, so three even numbers out of seven cards. So the probability is three sevenths. We need to know that all possible outcomes add up to one whole. So here we've got the probability of Tim winning a tennis match is 0 0.4. Write down the probability that he does not win the tennis match. So the probability of him winning and the probability of him not winning must add up to one hole. So what do you have to add on to 0 0.4 to get to 1? What's 1 minus 0 0.4? That's 0 0.6. So the probability he does not win is 0 0.6. And one of these for you to try. So the probability of Sam winning a game is three quarters. Write down the probability that Sam does not win the game. 
So the probability wins and doesn't win, mass that up to one hull. So what do you have to add on to three quarters to get one hull? That would be one more quarter. And one more example. So there are red counters, blue counters, green counters, and yellow counters in a bag. A counter is chosen at random from the bag. And there's a table that shows the probability of red, blue, and green. So red, blue, and green. Yellow is missing. And we need to find the probability that the counter will be yellow. So again, the probabilities of everything that can happen must add up to one hole. So what do we have so far? So we've got 0 0.12, 0 0.4, and 0 0.25. So if we add these up, we can see what's missing. So 0 0.12. Now we've got to be careful with 0 0.4. It's not 4%. This is 40%. So it's 0 0.40. And 0.25. You could have changed them all to percents if you don't want to work with decimals by multiplying them all by 100 and had 12%, 40%, and 25%. But with probability, it doesn't matter if we're working in fractions, decimals, or percentages. So let's add these up 2 plus 0 plus 5 is 7. 1 plus 4 plus 2 is also 7. So we've got 0 0.77, 77%. How much more do I need to get to one hole? What do I have to add on to 77 to get to 100? That's 23. So the probability of a yellow is 0 0.23. And one of these for you to try. So give this one a go. So it's the same question. We've got red, blue, green, and yellow counters. We need to know what the missing probability is. So we know they all have to add up to one whole. So what is missing? So we've got 0 0.36 or 36%, 0 0.15 or 15%, and 0.2 or 20%. So we'll add them up. 6 plus 5 is 1. Carry the 1. 3 plus 1 plus 2 plus 1 is 7. So we've got 0.71. How much more do we need to get to one hole? Or well, 71%. How much more do we need? That's 29. 1 minus 0.71 is 0 0.29 and to finish up we've got two questions so pause the video and give them a go question one says here are some number cards and we've got two twos two threes a four two fives a six and a seven one card is chosen at random write down the probability that the card has a two on it so there are two twos out of one two three four five six seven eight nine cards so the probability of getting a two is two ninths write down the probability for question two the card has a prime number on it so which of these are prime numbers two is a prime number it can only be divided by itself and one 3 is a prime number, 4 is in the 2 times table, so it's not prime, 5 is prime, 6 is also in the 2 times table, and 7 is prime. So we have 4, 5, 6, 7 prime numbers out of 9 numbers in total. So the probability is 7 ninths. Question 2. We've got red pens, green pens, and black pens in a box. A pen is picked from the box at random. We've got the probability of red and green. We need to know the probability of black. So all possible outcomes have to add up to 1. So 0 0.35, 35% and 25% add up to 
add up to make 60%. And what's missing? How much more do we need to get to 1? 60% or 0 0.6 plus what would make a 1? That's 40% or 0 0.4. So the probability the pen is black is 0 0.4. If you write 40% or if you give your answer as a fraction, that's okay with probability. It doesn't matter if it's a fraction, a decimal or a percentage.